Hi, this is Cherry Woodburn. I'm your facilitator for a Thursday night's workshop on how to build your story for your personal brand. I'm really looking forward to working with all of you. We've got a great group coming and I have a number of exercises and activities that are going to help all of us create the story that we want to use for our businesses. And the reason I'm asking you to watch this YouTube video is because I have a bit of pre-work for you. It's nothing to get alarmed about. It's just something I want you to think about and reflect a little bit before you come to the workshop so we can hit, really hit the ground running. And that's why are you in business? Not, not related to is everybody's first answer seems to be to make money. I have to pay my bills. All of that's true, but that's really a result of your business. Why did you choose the business that you're in to make money? Why did you choose coaching? Why did you choose the insurance business? Why did I choose to be a speaker and an author? All those things are really important. If we can understand the reason why we've done this and gone into the business that we're in, it makes it a lot easier for us to write our story, to create our marketing plan, and to really draw people to us and create a bond of trust. There's a book out now called Start With Why. And in there, the author gives a number of case studies from Apple Computer, from Starbucks, from Southwest, all companies who understand why they are in the particular business that they're in. The owner of Zappos also spoke at the eWomen conference this past, I don't know, a couple months ago. And what he talked about was why Zappos is in business. And he talked about a procedure that he went through, he and, and people he were working with, just sort of asking why several times to go a little bit deeper into understanding why they were in business. And that's what I'd like you to do. And I'll just give you an easy example um, from myself. My company is Borderless Thinking and my niche market, pretty niche market, large niche market is women. So primarily women at any rate. And I want women to become borderless thinkers. So the question becomes, why do I want that? And the reason I want that is because I like women, I like working with women, and I think that they limit themselves too much in what they can or will do because of the borders they put on their thinking. And then I can go a little deeper and say, well, yeah, why is that so important? That's important because I know with myself and with many of my talented women friends that they limit limited their thinking, again, put borders, belief systems around their thinking that kept them from stepping into becoming sort of bigger people in terms of what they wanted to do in life, kept them from doing their, their passion, holding them back. And so why is that important? Why is it so important that women believe in themselves more and step into their passion? Well, really for women and really for men also, I think that if we can step out of our self-imposed limitations related to our thinking and what we're capable of, that we, first of all, it will be transformative for the individual, plus it will be transformative for families, for work relationships, and ultimately, as cliched or hokey as this may sound, I truly believe that it would be transformative for the world that if we start to believe in ourselves more and drop away these judgments and limitations on ourselves, we will do so with other people also. So that's my example of why and the kind of thing that I'm asking you to think about. Obviously, your answers are going to be a lot different than mine are, and that's fine. But just if you can spend a couple minutes thinking about it, reflecting on it while you're in the car, Again, I really think it's going to help us hit the ground running when we meet on Thursday night. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. Thanks a lot. Bye.